Hello, this is the last Paper One revision video. This is really just finishing off the loose ends of the Vietnam War. I'm really thinking about why, why America pulls out of the war and the extent to which America could be said to have lost the war. Sometimes the examiners will word it like that, why did America lose the war? And it's quite an interesting question because it allows you to attack the question a bit. In one way, America doesn't lose the war. They aren't defeated. They don't lose battles. They withdraw from the war. But it's seen as a defeat. It feels like a defeat. I mean, America is a, the richest, wealthiest country on the planet. It's got the biggest army on earth. And it can't beat the Vietnamese. So it's seen as a defeat. And within days of America leaving Vietnam, the country becomes communist. Really from 1969 onwards, America is looking to reduce its involvement in the war. In 1969, the new president is Richard Nixon, who had campaigned largely on a manifesto of he was getting America out of the war. It was too expensive, it was too unpopular. It was the reason why LBJ, Lyndon Johnson, had refused to run for a re-election as president. So Nixon has to get America out. First of all, he moves to a policy known as Vietnamization, which is trying to get the South Vietnamese to do most of the fighting. So from 1969 onwards, the number of American troops being sent to Vietnam is reduced. They stop sending conscripts. They stop drafting altogether. So it's uh, volunteer soldiers now and it's less soldiers each year. By 1972 there are a very small number of American soldiers still there and they're trying to get the South Vietnamese to fight the war. Do America lose the war? Yes, I suppose so. They went into the war to stop the spread of communism and that failed. The war also has a huge negative effect on American opinion worldwide. It's the first war that America's not won. It's the first time where the American people have openly opposed war. It also shows that America is not this unbeatable, unstoppable military machine. It does mean that in future... Cold War conflicts, America is not going to send in troops. When the Soviet Union invades Afghanistan in 1978, America didn't consider sending military troops in at all. That is no longer an option. So this is a very short video. This just really finishes off the Vietnam War section. Um, please have a look at the notes that are on Edmodo. Please go check your own notes. And I will post some videos for Paper 2 very soon. Thank you very much.